Well, first, I don't think it's a manifesto. I think it's, it's, it's a delusional screed. Uh, what, what I see in, in the 130-plus uh, pages that I read are delusions. There's persecutory delusions, clear-cut persecutory del delusions, grandiose delusions. He, he believes he's divine. He is a god. Not god-like, but actually god. Uh, uh, he uh, also uh, expresses suicidal uh, ideas, a suicidal plan. We know that people with delusions and uh, other psychotic symptoms, like the ones I've just described, uh, tend to be more violent in the general population when not in treatment. Let me, let me emphasize, as you did about autism, uh, people with autism spectrum disorder are no more violent than the general population. Mm -hmm. People with schizophrenia and related disorders are no more violent except and this is the, the difficult caveat for someone like myself who cares for, for patients with schizophrenia, except for when they're not in treatment, which right. seems to be the case here. Okay. Uh, let's talk about some of those things. You said it's not a manifesto. You, you call it delusion. So he, he writes this, Dr. Amador. He says, all of those beautiful girls I've desired so much in my life but can never have because they despise and loathe me, I will, I will destroy. All of those popular people who... Uh, live hedonistic lives of pleasure I will destroy because they never accepted me as one of them. I will kill them, I will kill them all and make them suffer just as they have made me suffer. It is only fair, he says. So, Dr. Amador, in your opinion, what is really behind what happened here? This, I mean, this seems pretty, pretty violent, a violent take here. Well, it seems violent and it also seems like he's picking on particular people that have, have insulted him, that have hurt him, that have rejected him. So. Uh, and, and, and I don't mean any disrespect to you or your producers, but when, you, when we cherry pick uh, statements like this, it sounds a little bit more cogent and rational and like it makes sense than it does. When I look at the bigger picture, what he actually says, actually he, he writes, why, why, why do things have to be this way? Uh, people are going to ask why I did this. And he says, humanity struck humanity, not an individual, not a sorority sister, humanity, the entire, entirety of humanity struck at me first by condemning me to experience so much suffering. I didn't ask for this. I didn't want this. I didn't start this war. I wasn't the one who struck first, but I will finish it. That's just a quick you know, cherry picking on my part of uh, a lot of the writings that, that indicate very deep, deep, long-standing paranoid persecutory delusions um, that, that, that really reflect a broken brain. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I mean that quite literally, a brain that's yeah. not functioning uh, properly uh, neurochemically and, and, and probably structurally.